Hi. Now we are going to learn the rest part of the expansion of the matter. In the first video in thermal phenomena, we learn about the expansion of solid, and now we are going to learn about the expansion of the liquid. And there are three types of expansion. In the last video, we learn and the linear expansion coefficient denoted by alpha and the superficial expansion coefficient or the superficial expansion coefficient beta and the gamma the volume expansion coefficient and the standard relation between them alpha equal beta by 2 equal gamma by 3 this is the important question you commonly found in your question paper in board exam in madhyamik exam you commonly find you can see this the relation between alpha beta and gamma and also in another one form you can see this that is alpha is to beta is to gamma this is equal 1 is to 2 is to 3 this is the important question now what happened in case of the expansion of the liquid when you try to increase the volume of it then how can you increase this either it increase same in amount for all liquid or different in amount for the different liquids. Now expansion of liquid. Now we are going to learn about the expansion of liquid. Expansion of liquid. Here you consider the expansion of the liquid means the volume expansion of the liquid. Here, first we have to know how does the liquid expand. In case of the solid, it has a definite shape. It has a definite shape. That's why we can easily verify the expansion of the solid. When heat energy is supplied to a solid, the solid expands. And that means we can measure the expansion of the solid, either the linear or surficial or the uh, cubical volume of the solid that is expanded on heating but in case of the liquid liquid has no definite shape the shape of the liquid is the shape of the container in which it is kept that's why when solid expands it is very easy but when liquid expands it is very difficult because we cannot supply heat to the liquid directly. First, the heat is supplied to the container of the liquid in which it is kept. That means the material of the container first absorbs heat. Then what happens? Then it will expand. After that, the heat energy supplied to the liquid, then the liquid expands. So, when the material of the container expands, the level of the water column, level of the liquid column falls, decreases. After that, liquid rises its volume. That means, in case of the liquid, as it has no definite shape, we cannot supply heat to the liquid directly. That's why the liquids have two types of expansion. The apparent expansion and the real expansion. It involves the expansion of the material of the container because when heat energy is supplied to the container then it expands fast. As a result the height of the liquid column drops due to the expansion of the material of the container. After that liquid expands. So first liquid column falls then rises up. Okay. So volume expansion of the liquid has two parts the first one part is the apparent expansion apparent volume expansion volume expansion coefficient apparent volume expansion coefficient of liquid denoted by gamma A and secondly 
that is a real volume expansion coefficient real volume expansion coefficient of the liquid denoted by gamma r first liquid level drops after that rises this drops due to the expansion of the material of the container in which the liquid kept there is a standard relation between them but how can you define them that can be easily defined the apparently expanded volume with respect to the temperature for unit degree rise of temperature is the apparent volume expansion coefficient that is we can just represent this by the formula the apparent volume expansion gamma a this is equal apparent increasing volume apparent increasing volume divided by initial volume into rise of temperature rise of temperature this will be the apparent expansion volume expansion of the liquid for real volume expansion coefficient of the liquid we can write this as gamma r this is equal the real the real expansion real increasing volume or expansion real increasing increasing volume divided by divided by divided by initial volume into rise of temperature so this will be the real volume expansion coefficient of the liquid what is the relation between them the relation between them that is gamma r this is equal gamma a plus if we consider that the gamma g is the expansion coefficient of the material of the container then this will be the relation gamma r equal gamma a plus gamma g very commonly found question in your board exam madhyamik question paper which one is greater the relation shows that gamma r greater than gamma a this is very important for your board exam gamma r equal gamma r greater than gamma a and the relation is gamma r equal gamma a plus gamma g what happened for the gas yes we learned this we already learned this for gases for gases for all gases the volume of the gas can be increased related to the boyle's law and charles law in the behavior of gases chapter the second chapter concerned about environment after that the behavior of gases where we learn this the volume of the gases can be increased with increasing temperature according to charles law and the volume of the gases can be increased also by decreasing the pressure so there are two types of expansion coefficient of the gas the volume expansion coefficient of the gas at the constant pressure that is gamma p and the volume expansion coefficient of the gas at the constant temperature it is represented by gamma v and the relation is gamma p equal gamma v gamma p stands for the volume expansion coefficient at constant pressure volume expansion coefficient at constant temperature represented by gamma v this is most important for your board exam for your board exam you see this in the last year in the previous year you can easily find out this in your question paper board exam okay next next what is the value of gamma for all gases the value of the gamma for all gases according to the charles law for every 1 degree centigrade rise of temperature the volume of the gas is increased by at the rate of 1 by 273 per degree centigrade 1 by 273 per degree centigrade in your question paper board exam you can see this in the group a one marks mcq what is the value of the volume expansion coefficient of gamma this will be 1 by 273 or in 
single one marks question in group B, you can find this. The how much the volume of a gas is increased when the temperature of the gas is increased by one degree centigrade. That will be one by two seventy three per degree centigrade. Just remember this per degree centigrade or degree centigrade inverse. Okay, this is very important for your board exam. In the next video, we learn the how can we establish the relation alpha is to beta is to gamma one is to two is to three gamma r equal gamma a plus gamma g and gamma p equal gamma b today up to this